Oh, Nicola is fantastic when it comes to this manga technique, which obviously is huge worldwide, not just in the crafting market, but with budding artists, it's got a huge cult following, especially with the teens and the 20 somethings. So it's, if you know someone or you are that someone who is really into this artwork look and doesn't know where to get started, this is absolutely the kit for you, okay? Now, in the kit, what you're going to get is three of our illustrator markers. So you're going to get two of them in the um, the coral colours. So coral one and coral three, which is silk and suntan. And then you're also getting your IB3, which is the one that we've used here where I've been starting to colour, where I'm colouring his hair on there. It looks brilliant. Very, very big colour in the manga community, these, okay? We've also included a couple of our classic pens so that you can experience some of the classics and one of the art liners so that you can be doing some art liner work in the middle. Now, the instruction manual, you get an introduction to the artist. So Nicola's actually based in London. She's a video game designer, right? So she's got a huge talent for manga and comic art. Go and follow her, learn more about her and see more of the artwork that she teaches you all about. Then you get a bit of an introduction to the tool. So you're going to learn about uh, the difference between our Illustrator and Classic Markers, also how the art liner works and all about those tools. Then on the other side, she's going to start getting you into this manga look. Now, this is one of my favourite images of hers. I love the idea. And it's all about getting the flick in the colours, which I'm about to show you with the Illustrator markers. Now, what we've included as well is a step-by-step -step guide which matches in with the artwork that you've got in the set. So you see, you can actually follow through with the artwork she's included. So there's some great places here for you to start. And then you've got some blank paper to work with this. So I'm going to start by colouring this, uh, colouring this manga guy in here, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to bring the illustrator pens out first. And the illustrators are brilliant because they've got this brush marker on the end, which means what we can do is this lovely flicking technique, okay? So if I just come in from the edge here, can you see we're going to go down and flick out. Now, these are alcohol, men, alcohol pens, which means they are designed to be used for layering, right? So you can build up all of the colour by flicking multiple, or, multiple uh, layers over top of each other. So you can see we can get them nice and deep as we're going here. So let's have a bit of a flick coming through here. And we're just going to leave the tips of his hair white. This is, this is that manga look that everyone's after. But see how easy it is to do when you've got the right tools to be working with. That's the difference. It's just about having all of the right tools. And see how easy it was for me to start and do this colouring just to begin with. This is what you're going to do, or whether you're buying this kit for someone else, as a brilliant starting point, right? So you can continue all the way on there with um, all of his hair, but I wanted to show you as well how we could do a little bit of his face, right? So in the set, we've actually got uh, two of the, the skin tones included. Let's have a look at it's going to play with my OCD if I don't get his hair finished when I'm this close, right? So let's just get some of this uh, edge pieces coming down here. There we go. And we're close enough on the hair there. All right. So now if I want to do his skin tone, you'll see you've got two shades of the same pen. So one and three, which means that you start with the deepest one around the outside first of all, right? So all of this, can you see? And I'm just flicking this in where we would have anything 3D going around here, we're flicking all of this shading in. This is what the Illustrator pens are absolutely brilliant for. All right, so a little bit down here and a little bit round his nose as well. And then what we do is once we've put in the deeper shade, we're then gonna come in with the lighter one and we're gonna flick the lighter one over top of this deeper one, right? so that we then get a real dimensional look. This is, this is the look that's really popular in manga, right? You want that kind of flick, you want the light still to show in here. So can you see, we get that seamless airbrushed look. His face is starting to look more and more rounded. And then we can come in with a little bit of the gray and we can just finish off around his eye, a little bit of a glassy look around his eye here, right? really easy to do. Now you can continue on with that 
and finish the rest of them off. But I want you to see actually how easy this is. And the great thing is, this is easy for you or this is easy for kids. Now, I wouldn't say kids quite too young. So, you know, my, my youngest, uh, my, my kids are three and six, probably a bit young for this. But teenagers especially, this would be brilliant. This is the sort of stuff these kids are covering in art college in school. This is the sort of artwork that they, they're looking up on the internet and those that are aspiring artists, this is the route they want to go. This kit could be your way of getting one of those kids into this area of learning how to do it, following one of the top artists. I mean, a gaming designer couldn't get more, more teenage for you, could it not? Get them into this new technique, give them the tools, give them the artwork, give them the pens, get them hooked on a fantastic new hobby. This is the kit to do it with. Mm -hmm.